Hello, hello everybody, this is Howie Jones, and uh, welcome to the food course, and we're just, this is a little bit of fruit I picked out of the forest, some pears, Bartlett pears, uh, some apples, and some green gauge plums. We'll all get canned, we do a lot of canning here, and here we go, and look into the canning here, this is all peaches, and apricots, pears, and uh, we do, we, I did about 600 jars last year. These are fruit salads and peaches. And, and uh, yeah, we, 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 uh, we do a lot of canning. This way of preserving and freeze a lot. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we like to prep a little bit, you know. These are all peaches. So I, love, I love peaches. And uh, every, every cupboard in <laughs> that house is full. <laughs> yeah. And we, we, uh, we love our fruit. I'm just going to go for a little tour outside here. And uh, we'll have a look at some uh, fine looking plums in the plum tree and stuff. But this is beautiful. This, this front yard is amazing. Look at the plums in this tree. There's tens of thousands of plums this year. You couldn't pick them all. So I just shipped the tree and let the beard bottom them. The neighbors all came over and picked them, and um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'll shake the tree a little bit. They all fall on the ground, and there's my box. I'll fill that box up in five minutes. So you can see them on the ground, they're hitting the ground, see? It doesn't take long to fill a box here. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> so they make great plum jam and plum sauce. You can freeze them, they're nice and frozen. But the great thing is the neighbors all come here. Oh, look at that. I'm shaking it again. There's a lot of plums on here. There they all are. It's just a handful. You, you can't pick. That's just one tree. And there's a lot of trees here. And uh, here, I'm going to eat one. It's delicious. Yeah, all you know, it's so good. And, uh, yeah. And they're not really big, but boy, are they sweet. Uh, they're a Fritz plum. I named it. That's a camellia there, and this is a woodland lily. The deer like this. You may have seen a video of them eating the, the, the woodland lilies. But they're they're very good eating. They're, they're bulb edible too. It's very healthy for you. Good blood cleanser. Look at all the plums on the ground. I just shook the tree. That's an agave um, plant there from the desert of Sonoran. And um, yeah, this is, a, this is a walnut tree. It's loaded with walnuts. I have a lot of walnuts. They're good really eating. Tasty, healthy for you. No, oh, that's fennel. That's a lemon tree there. And yeah, fuchsia. I eat a lot of fuchsia berries. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna eat some of these. These are tasty. They're, they're fuchsia berries. All fuchsia berries. Are, oh, look at the bee there. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bee. There he goes. Here he, he's the bee. He's follow the bee for a little bit. They're interesting bees. That that's a big lemon tree. That same lemon tree is nine or ten feet now. That's Canada. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, back in the house, we'll go for another look here. Here's a painting from a friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, here we'll go out back. There's a banana tree that we grow some bananas here too. Of course you gotta bring them inside. Some of them are more size though. You just cut them back and they regrow. Yeah. Little stargazer lilies. Casablanca lilies, that's what it's called. What is all that? Oh, here's a fig. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a fig. Uh, this is my favorite thing to do is to eat figs. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, big, yeah, not much left to do it after this time, but I'm a real, real big uh, guy. I can eat them all day long. Yep, look at them all. There, there's lots. There's, there's, there's hundreds. And, uh, the first crop is called the Freba crop, but I get several crops. But they're all different. That's a Don Juan rose there. Um, these are gold beans. There's a lot of gozies here. Uh, they're uh, super food. You can live on them. Delicious. Lots, lots of them around. 
that. Let's see what else is around here. Some of the videos look the same because well, it's, it's just a small piece of an acre. It's not really a lot of acreage, but the amount of food is incredible. Thousands and thousands of pounds of food. And here's, a, here's an understory here. And look at all the plums on the ground. <laughs> this is another plum tree in the back. And the deer come in and they, they eat them. They just, they'll be gone in one night to them or to chickens. I mean, and here's a kiwi vine. That's a kiwi vine growing up um, a rose vine, climber, rose climber. And, and uh, here's some pawpaw, a cinnabina tribola, I think, for I name. Mean. And uh, yeah, I just planted two of them. And oh yeah, that's an arrowroot. I, I planted that from the neighbor. And uh, there's some more squash. The squash grow everywhere because I empty the pathway soil right when they're in there. Here's some Vadlia. That's uh, a bee attractor pollinator. We, we, we like those. Some people don't, but we do. Now, here's some gojis. Lots of gojis. And lots of blueberries. The chickens love blueberries, they love gojis, and then we love the chicken eggs. It's amazing the eggs can the chickens eat out of the food for us. The eggs are phenomenal. Makes great, great scrambled eggs. Oh, here's a raspberry. Single raspberry. 